This video is brought to you by Squarespace, a platform perfect for creating your own website. Stay tuned to hear more. Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Tiffany. I have a very exciting video for you guys because this is my official first time ever doing wholesale. I've been wanting to do wholesale for a minute. I know a lot of you have heard me talk about it in like past videos and a lot of you guys have also had this dream with me. It's been a bit of a journey trying to figure out what I'd want to do with my art and stuff lately because originally after I graduated, I low-key did not know what I wanted to do. But now I'm starting wholesale and I'm so excited because we're gonna be packing some um, wholesale orders today. It's gonna be so much fun, so aesthetic, so relaxing. I personally really like packing orders because even though it's like super tedious, I kind of love it. I don't know. But before we started today, because the footage is actually from a few days ago when I packed this, this is me in like the future. Wholesale has been something that I've been wanting to do for quite a bit. It's been something in like the back of my mind and it's something that I didn't really know how I was going to approach it when I was starting to do it. It's not really like anything I've ever really done before. All of my selling experience comes from selling Girl Scout cookies when I was like in fourth grade. I didn't really know what I was doing, but I kind of want to talk a little bit about like how I started doing it in case there's anyone else who wants to do these things. My channel is hardly a tutorial channel, as you guys know. I know some of you like learn how to do things through me, but my intentions are never really to like show you exactly how I do things. It's kind of just to document my process and my journey. So you guys have been following me on my artist journey for so, so long that I feel like I want to share with you guys where I am right now in this wholesale journey, in this process, and why I want to do it because it's honestly a little bit hard to find information like this online I feel like from a artist niche standpoint but basically a little bit of background for those of you who don't know me my name is Tiffany I graduated college in May and this is my first year on my own selling things doing things and trying to live a life while also making art so it's been quite fun a little bit confusing at times, but I think we're finding our way. Currently, I am selling most of my art online. I've been selling my art online since like 2020 during the pandemic, I think is when I started. I just kind of like got bored at the time and I always wanted to have like a little Etsy shop. So I did that then. I moved off Etsy around 2021 or 2022, something like that. And now I have my own website where you can find all the stuff there as well. So if you guys see anything that you like during this video, definitely check out my website because everything will be in there. I've been working to make a lot of cute products like this little guy. I love making phone grips, stickers, cute things like that. But recently I've been wanting to do wholesale. So wholesale basically just means that you're going to be part of the inventory in a in-person shop. So for me, I find local hobby shops that have like a similar vibe to me. Maybe they like some cutesy things. Maybe a lot of like people similar to me shop there. Maybe I've been shopping there my entire life for cute things. And basically you wanna be part of their inventory. So you're going to be supplying them some of your products, regardless of what that is really wholesale is not necessarily just like small business stuff like people do wholesale all the time. Payment is upfront. That's how I prefer to do it because I've done consignment before, which is where you leave your stuff there and then you get paid as stuff sells. And it's kind of a big headache to like keep track of that. I don't personally prefer it. I prefer a one-time transaction in the beginning and then the company or store is welcome to do whatever they want with my products because I've already gotten paid and that's the best part. So when I started doing wholesale, I actually had one of my friends named PJ who ironically, unironically has become my manager. So thank you, PJ, if you're watching this. Woohoo! We joke about it a lot. One of my friends is like a really good businessman, I guess, and he likes going to stores in person and like asking them, or he tells me he likes doing it. Uh, but I've low-key hired him to help me out with this whenever he feels like it. And so he will go in stores and ask them if they're interested in like a local artist who sells some little stickers and cute things. I don't know entirely what his process is because we just started this like a little bit ago. I don't know, he's gotten me into two stores, so kind of slay. There is a lot of like, like yard work going on outside, so I hope you guys can't hear it. But the next step after finding stores that you're interested in would be to create some content for them to look at, I guess. The things that I have going on is I have catalog, I have a wholesale catalog, and then I also have a pricing sheet and I have a order form. These are all things that I just made on like Microsoft or Google Slides or something, and I just kind of put it together. But my wholesale catalog, I basically just made on PowerPoint. And also with that, I used Squarespace. And to make things the simplest for me. I kind of looked up a few videos on how to make a wholesale catalog, but 
also because I'm an artist and a creative, having things be cohesive is so important for my brand. So I kind of did it all on my own and I kind of made it like my own aesthetic. If anyone has any recommendations on like videos I can watch and stuff, I've watched a couple videos on YouTube of people talking about how to go about doing this. But I know with this like specific niche of cute things, it's a little bit different sometimes. I built my catalog. I use Squarespace, which is like a really big help. Squarespace is also what I've been running my website on and is also the sponsor of today's video. So I just like to talk about them a bit really quick because I feel like I owe so much of my artistic growth to Squarespace from the past few years. If you guys don't know what Squarespace is, they are a website building platform. They can help you build your own website. So many varieties of website that you can customize them to however you want. And they have amazing templates for you to follow. So it's like super, super easy. I've been using them for years now and I run my online shop with them and I love their commerce tools. Currently my website looks like this and I sell a lot of my little items off there, but Squarespace makes it so incredibly easy. And when I was making my wholesale catalog, I was actually very thankful that I already had a base on Squarespace because I already had my website where I was selling things and I already had like a little picture. I had nice pictures. Squarespace has been motivating me to take good product photos so I can put them on a website and it looks good with all of their other amazing Squarespace things so that my website doesn't look jank. I already had that with all the photos and then I already had like a title underneath because I've been selling my work. And then I basically just screenshotted those. I put them into my PowerPoint and I just made a little wholesale catalog that way and it works super, super well. Squarespace has also helped me out with so many other things. So I just like to give a quick shout out to them and you guys can also check them out down below. If you guys are interested in Squarespace, I would highly recommend them, especially for anything related to like small business artsy stuff for sure. You guys can check them out. You can head to squarespace.com forward slash Tiffany Wang and use my code Tiffany Wang for a discount on your first purchase of a website or domain. And I also love having a customizable domain because I get tiffany.com and it looks super great and super clean. Back to what I was saying, I got my wholesale catalog made. I had a pricing sheet and I had a order form. I would email those to stores that were interested in me. And I also made sure those all look super cohesive so that they were all like pink and cute. And after that, I have two store locations currently. I have one called Win Condition Games in Kennesaw, Georgia. And then I have a second one called Level Up in Duluth, Georgia. And you guys might also see me there sometimes. I'm actually at these locations quite frequently with friends. So if you guys ever see me, feel free to say hi. But these are little places that I hang out kind of often too. Also, they have like blind boxes and cute things there as well. So I already enjoy being there. You guys already know. The first location I like to talk about is Wind Condition Games in Kennesaw. So I've been going there for a little bit. You guys have probably noticed in my vlogs that I've been doing a little shop location um, around there. I never really spoke about where it was, but now that we're doing wholesale officially, I'd love to tell you guys more. So we've been doing consignment for a little bit. That's the location I was talking about. I don't personally prefer consignment, which is where you leave your stuff there and then you get paid as it sells because it's a lot of back and forth and it's a lot of keeping track of like, inventory and stuff and I'm not even gonna lie. I'm not very good at that. Try my best to count and I try my best to keep track of everything, but after like a month or two, it all gets jumbled on my very mediocre Excel sheet and I get confused. So I really prefer wholesale, which is selling things upfront. My personal prices for wholesale, I do about 50% off retail price for me. I have that on my pricing list. I have my recommended retail price and then I also have what I'm selling it to them for. So if I'm selling a sticker for like $2, if I'm selling them for $2, I will sell it to them for $1. They can make their own prices. I I'm totally okay with that because I've already gotten paid up front, so they are welcome to do whatever they want. But for Wind Condition Games, I have my biggest array of items there. I take over like one fourth of their artist location. I literally love it and they have motivated me to make a good packaging and good products. So I think doing wholesale is also like a great way to have like a relationship with a company that's not overbearing because they're not like my boss. I'm still my own boss, but also I'm motivated to do good things for them um, and I want them to do well as well. So it's just like, it's really fun. I don't know. I I personally really like all aspects of it so far, but we've been working together for quite a bit. So they placed an order with me and a very large order at that. I was shocked, but I'm very grateful. We've been doing a back and forth since about, I wanna say last Thanksgiving, probably even before that. So it's been quite a while. I think we've been working together for like very close to a year now. So they've seen my products, they've touched my products, they've been selling my products. Some of it has done well, some of it hasn't. So when they placed their wholesale order, they took that into account. But on my wholesale order, I also have a discount 
discount for the higher quantity that you go. So over 20, you get a discount and then over 50. That's just how I personally do it. But when it comes to wholesale, you're really welcome to make almost your own rules. I'm pretty sure. Win Condition Games placed a huge order with me. We're gonna pack that today. And then also Level Up Games in Duluth also placed a little order with me. We're testing out some stuff in that location. So if you guys are in the Duluth area in Georgia, I would be super, super grateful if you guys went and checked out my stuff there because it could use some love. The thing with wholesale is that if your products do well in the store, they will reorder from you ideally. So that would be really great for me if they did that. That is the goal, honestly, is to build like lasting relationships with stores. I have a lot of other stores that I wanna reach out to, but I'm currently in a really strange place in my life where I'm about to go on vacation. So I don't wanna start anything new until I come back. But then once I come back, we're gonna hit the ground running. It's gonna be super exciting. If any store is watching this and is interested in wholesale with me, I will 100% ship to you. The only reason I'm currently only based in Georgia is because I'm based in Georgia. So it just makes things easier for me because I love my car. I love driving and I love driving to stores to do this type of thing. So it's been super great. In college, I did not drive for four years and it kind of sucked because I lived in the city. But now I'm able to like travel and do all these things. So I love to expand to like other states and stuff. I will be reaching out to them once I get back from vacation, but my vacation is going to be like a month long, which is why I'm not really starting anything new. Right now I have two stores, super grateful, super exciting. And this is how my wholesale journey has gone so far. So right now we have some orders to pack. Yeah, I want to thank all of you guys as well for watching me and for hanging out because it has been such a journey to like do all of this and on the internet too. And like, you guys are all so supportive of me. You guys are all so supportive of my online shop, which also like keeps me running when I'm not doing these types of things. Yeah, uh, it's all been super great and super fun. And again, if you guys see anything in this video, because I know I've recently launched a lot of new products. If you guys missed it, I talked about it a lot in my last video, but if you guys see anything that you guys like, definitely check it out down below at tiffany.com. But I think I've rambled enough for the beginning of this video. I just really wanted to give you guys a proper introduction and like to catch you up to speed because I really want to be transparent with you guys when possible. And I feel like this has been something that I've been working up to and I don't want to just be like, oh, this is a thing I did. How did I do it? I don't know. Like I want to stay in touch with you guys. So if you guys have any questions about wholesale as well, please let me know. I am by no means a professional on this. We got lots of orders to pack. We got a lot of stuff to pack. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's go ahead and start. Okay, everyone. So this is literally my first time using this packaging. I am so excited. I'm going to be packaging my phone grips first because I've never used this stuff. But as you can see, it comes in a sheet like this. This is how I set up my file because they didn't really have sizes that I wanted. And so I'm going to be doing this. Now that I have received a bunch of these files, there's actually so many changes that I want to make for the future. But right now, first thing I'm going to do is I want to make sure that these fit the plastic sleeves that I have. So I'm going to get those open. So it looks like these are the smallest ones we have. So it looks like they'll definitely fit in here with the way that I have them trimmed, so I'm not worried. I'm going to cut up some of these so that we can use them. I'm packaging, let's see. We have 24 phone grips packaged, which is literally so exciting. This is like the biggest order I've ever gotten. Two, four, six, eight, ten. 10. So I'm going to slice these up real quick. And this is really easy really happy with the way I formatted these files. So normally I would want to have the least work possible. Slicing this is actually super easy. So in the future, I may format a few more files like this just so that I can get the size that I want. I feel like sometimes when you see a number, you're like, eh, eight of each is not that many, but then you actually start packaging eight of each and you're like, oh my gosh. Last one. Nice. Just going to get out all the little guys. This is quite a large stack actually, but that is all of them all cut up. And now I got this circle punch. I ran to Michael's to get it. I've never done this before, but this is how I've seen some people online packaging their phone grips. So we're going to try it. Oh my gosh, I didn't consider like it fitting. Oh no, I totally didn't think of that. Wait, does this have to, that seems so like annoying. Why can't I go in? farther. Oh no. I wonder if there's a way to like take this apart so that I can get it. These are the ones that I trimmed. You see how it doesn't fit? Okay. Very, very unfortunately, I think this hole punch is not going to work for my purposes, but I just hand cut one and it was not the worst. It came out like this and it looks pretty good. Also look how glossy that phone 
grip is. I love it. I'm going to try to not cut off the wing this time, but surprisingly, this is not like the worst because as you can see, it doesn't have to be a perfect circle, but cutting it really did not bother me that much. So just like that. And then I'm going to take one of these out of its original packaging and make sure it looks good, which it does. Just get it on there and it looks fine. So I think we're just gonna do them like this. I guess I'll just cut them by hand, but since there's not too many, I don't think it'll bother me too, too much. But yeah, we got two of them ready. Now we're gonna do a couple more. It's fine if I just cut a line. I've only cut a dash like that because that's how I usually have seen people do it online. I'm going to do it with this little dash. I think I can just kind of get it in there yeah so i don't even have to cut that dash i will keep these probably sell them online because i feel like my packaging online doesn't have to be as consistent and i get to experiment with things but when they're in person i would really like for them to look as like polished as possible but these circles really don't have to be perfect now i have eight of each to pack i have one officially done so i'm just gonna slide it in there like this I'm trying to discover which part makes this the most difficult. I'm not quite sure yet, but it looks super cute. I really love it. And it has like the little angel wings, which was honestly a, like a happy mistake one of the first times I packaged these. But then obviously when I designed it this time, I did it intentionally. But they look so cute. They look amazing. Like they look so good. This is so professional and I think they look so great. I am very happy about this. So I'm gonna go through and just do more of these. I really wish the whole punch worked, but honestly, it's fine. I just pulled out a bunch of these. So we have these guys and then we have the ones that we've already been using. And I also have the little blobfish ones that I will be packaging as well. I'm actually so happy to be getting rid of those. I don't like the design that much. So once those sell out, I will not be restocking those. They were fun. They were my first foam grips that I ever made. So they will always have a special place in my heart. However, comma, I really don't feel like keeping those in my shop, especially if I don't love them. Also, I keep all this plastic packaging to like reuse for something else. So do not worry. I'm gonna take all these guys. Alrighty, so they're all my bunnies. I'm going to package these all up now. This is so cute. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. I never thought that like, I would get to a point where like my packaging looks so good. I really impressed myself this time around, even though the hole punch did not work out like I hoped it would. I'm very pleased with how this is coming out as of right now. And that all the papers that I got printed are fitting properly because I'm really bad at that sometimes. And some of the papers that I did get, the backings in this order, do not actually fit perfectly. I'll have to go back, redesign those, reorder those, and spend more money on packaging testing, but it's okay. I think it's all worth it, especially when things work out like this. They're really so cute. This is the last one of these bunnies. I am going to be packaging up blobfishes too, but because I don't really like their design anymore, I probably won't be filming much of it. This is the last one. I think I'm getting better at it, I want to say, but I'm not really sure how. I feel like my hands are just learning and my brain is kind of off right now. There we are. We have eight of each. Feet, all of these little circles that I've been getting. Looking good, but here we are. So cute. I'm gonna finish up the blobfish too and then we're gonna package all of them up. Here's the current progress. We got some stuff going on. I just got all of the blobfishes out of their packaging and I made sure that all of their tops were very, very smooth. And now we're just going to pack them up. So here's the before and and after here they all are all done so i'm gonna put them in their sleeves and i don't think i need to put a business card in here anymore because it looks like it's taken care of i used to do thank you stickers but i think for the sake of simplicity we're not doing that anymore for wholesale orders just because i feel like it'll look a bit messy if there's like an item just jostling about so I think this is good, but yippee. Time to put these in little plastic sleeves. And then I also have backings to go with this. It's so satisfying how like perfectly they fit in here. I very rarely can get plastic sleeves that like fit my stuff perfectly because before when I was making stuff, I kind of just made stuff and I didn't really think about like sizing and if there would be compatible sizing with other things that I needed. I would kind of just make stuff and like try to figure it out. Now with especially wholesale, I'm definitely more conscious of of whether my stuff looks good or not because I feel like when it's online it's just like if it looks good in the picture then that's all that really matters but now it's like 
completely different because it's like gonna be in a storefront, which is literally so exciting. Look at all this stuff that we're making. I feel like this is a lot of progress in my <laughs> creative world. And this is such a big milestone. I don't know, I'm kind of like, just thinking about how things have been going. It's kind of crazy that I know how to do this stuff now. Kind of. I don't know entirely what I'm doing. I know some of what I'm doing. So, but we're almost done. Little guys. Like, look how cute. Oh my gosh. They're beautiful. Okay, so I bought a bunch of these things. Hopefully the adhesive on these is good because I don't know how long they'll be hanging there, but like it might be a minute, you know? I'm a little suspicious. I guess these are pretty light, so it'll probably be fine. But I'm just gonna go through and stick one of these on all of these. Wow, this is really satisfying. I kind of love this. I've never used these before. One of the current stores that I wholesaled to prior to actually officially getting into it, we kind of did it like a consignment, which I learned this word the other day. It means that like you put your stuff in their shop and then sell your stuff and then you get paid as it sells as opposed to wholesale which is like you get paid up front for all your stuff and then they give it to you and then you give them your stuff and they just do whatever they want to it but prior to this current event that i got going on they used to do this part for me but since i'm planning on doing this for a little bit we'll see how long it goes you know i never really know how long i have my plans for but i hope i can do this for a little while because i do think this is more fun than tabling actually i wanted to get these for myself just to make it easier on everyone because also if i get my stuff just ready for them then they won't feel like it's a burden and they'll probably be more likely to buy from me again wholesale which would be great so that is my plan to hopefully impress them and also make their lives easier and the step is probably easier for me too so that i don't have to sort my stuff it'll just kind of get sorted naturally as I do these things. So we're just gonna go through and stick all of these guys on here. I actually really am enjoying this step because it's something new. Okay, so that was the first strip of these that I have used up. Time to officially start on the next. How strange. I don't know why they come in like these long sheets because it's actually kind of inconvenient for me, but I guess since I'm using like a bajillion of them at once, it's fine. I have noticed since doing like this little business and wholesale and stuff that when you do stuff in like bulk, it actually makes your life a lot easier unless you buy the wrong thing, but typically you don't. Now we're going to package some other stuff. I think we should do some stickers. So my sticker packaging hasn't changed much over the years, or I guess over the year, because I'm, I'm quite happy about it after I initially got my design situated. I did recently change, wow, I'm such a pro. I grabbed exactly 10 business cards because I just felt like that was 10. Recently changed the color of the backing and I do like it more. And now we're going to flower cat stickers. So this one is the Your Ugly flower cat stickers. I was debating if I I should like stick them in the middle like this. I don't think it's necessary, so I don't think we'll be doing that too. Or... And they ordered only the single ones. We're just gonna do them like this basically. But for these, I'm gonna keep doing with my sparkle ones. And I think I'm going to do five that are sparkly on the back and five that are sparkly on the front. Although when they're sparkly on the front, I feel like it just like obstructs the sticker. So maybe I'll do it on the back only. But I think we're gonna sleeve all of these sticker orders up and then we're going to do the little top piece all at the same time, just cause when you like assembly line things, kind of just makes things a little bit faster, so. So here's the 10th one of these. They did a lot of single stickers, which makes more sense for me, honestly, when we're selling things in store because it's kind of hard to explain like what a sticker pack entails. Just grabbed bunch more of these, so we're just gonna do the same thing again. And these ones are the heart flower cat stickers. I do think for these ones, I will add just a little bit of sticky on the back just because I feel like it'll look better. Where did it go? Like obviously I don't want to stick the whole sticker down a little bit so that it doesn't move. The other one was big enough that I feel like it can like hold its own, but this one is so small. So I just feel like this would look a little bit better. We're just gonna sleeve these up. 
Wow, perfect. Again, I'm so skilled. <laughs> These are some larger ones. I'm like running out of materials. Like I bring a stack of materials on my desk and then I run out because I'm using so much, which makes me so happy because that means I'm packing so many things. I don't normally get to pack this many things like all at once, unless I'm doing them in advance for my shop, but it's not as fun because like for this, I already know that they're going somewhere. There we go. Nice. And we have the You Suck flower sticker. Sleeve these guys up as well. Last one. And I think these are all of our individual stickers. Wow, there's six different designs. So that means there's 60 right here. I'm going to cut up some of these labels. I've had them pre-folded for a minute. They're not cut, these two are cut, but the rest need to be done. So I'm going to go through and do that. Oh man, so busy. Literally crazy out here. So I'm gonna take all of these away. Just move them to the side, cut some of these. Pretty much just go through and do this with a bunch of them. Let's go through and get these done. We're just gonna staple one of these on the top of each. It basically has all my contact info. Honestly, my, my packaging is like riddled with my contact info. It's like literally everywhere, but I just feel like that's one of the primary things that I get out of wholesale is the exposure. A lot of people like to talk about how exposure isn't always worth it, especially when it comes to like doing things for free, which I do not do. I typically don't do things for free for exposure, but doing things like wholesale, you cut down your prices a lot, but you do get a lot of new exposure to new people who might be interested in your art and just, you know, the algorithm might be letting you down or stuff like that. So that's one of the big reasons why I like to do this. We will see if this is enough of these. Here we are all done with these guys. Cute. Now we're gonna go through and do the rest of them. Here is the before. I also have some done already, the before. And after, here they are all done. Wow, they look so good. I need to put the little sticky tab on the back though. I love them. So they all have their little tabs on. And now we're gonna move on to the next one. We have some sticker sheets to pack as well. Look at all of them all done. They look pretty good. So I got about 10 of these Baby Bond sticker sheets. I decided I'm going to put my business card in the middle on the back because I think that looks the nicest. I was debating on whether I wanna use that one or the long form one. Oh, that looks nice too. But I feel like maybe we should do this one just because it looks nicest. Maybe people will look at it for the longest. I also had this option, but I feel like this just looks better. I'm going to stick these on. I'm just gonna kind of do something similar, but add a little bit more of the sticky stuff. So that was a three, this is the third one. This way they just don't dishevel because before I just put them in the same sheet and it would not look as neat. And I feel like this looks a lot better. Blowing through these business cards these today and I don't think I've ever packed this much. I probably packed more for like a tabling event, but this is definitely more fulfilling because I already know that these are going to be sold. Now we're just gonna put these in some plastic sleeves and they'll be all good to go. Time to put the backings on. I started doing the backings like this where I just flip them over and I think this is 
the most efficient way. If you guys don't know, I love efficiency. Like, I don't know, I think it's fun to just find the most efficient ways to do things, which is one of the reasons why I don't find work like this very tedious. I always get a lot of comments of people saying how like irritated they'd be having to do something like this over and over again, how they don't have the patience, but I literally love it because I get to turn my brain off, just do the same thing over and over again. And I think that's better than having to do different things. There we go. Now we got all of those. There's some air in these bags. It's a little bit squishy, but all done. Like this is kind of really large. So I feel like would have been kind of great if I got them a little bit smaller. So I'm just gonna trim the edges of these down a little bit just because they're already really bulky and I would just like, if they look a little bit better. Also, the sides are mostly just extra space. So next time I order these, I will definitely get them smaller because although it looks really good for the keychains, I feel like for the store, they may not want to have this much like space just for keychains. Six, seven, eight, nine. We need five more. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. I'll take it. Finished with my second one. Now they're a pair so they can kiss. They're so cute. Switches. I'm gonna find enough of these and three of these. And I need to pack all of these up. So I have these guys. They look pretty good. We have these four and then we have four of these. I think the packaging is okay that it's so big because these keychains are pretty big, but they also ordered these tiny guys and I am not about to use this packaging for these tiny guys. So I'm gonna have to figure out a solution. I could honestly do one of those. This is what I decided to do for the little guys. This is just the same thing that I did before, except now they have little hang tags. I would love if I had this in a smaller size and I really should order this in a smaller size. For now, this will do. I just finished all of the orders I need to pack for WinCon minus ditto earrings that I still have yet to make, but everything looks really, really great. So I'm gonna move on to Level Up, which is the next store that placed an order with me. Here are the sticker packs. I'm going to put on the little tops and then the backings and these guys will be done. But they got a interesting array. I'm surprised. How am I gonna do this? This would be very cute, but this is the wrong label. It would just be a little awkward. We can try it. Okay, I found it. So this tape is opaque. So I can cover what I need to cover and just write something new on top. Color's a bit off, but that's okay. Also, this tape is so cute. I don't know where I got it, but I would like more of it. Now it looks like that. I need a Sharpie. They don't look as bad when they're in the packaging. So I think it works. I have to make the rest of these into earrings. Making these ditto earrings. Um, my desk is progressively getting messier and messier, but I realized that this is the last thing that I need to do for wind condition tomorrow. So 
I just want to finish this up. I still am not happy with the packaging and I really just wish that I had some pink masking tape, but I don't and we will just work with what we have because these typically fly off the shelves. I don't think my packaging is gonna be the one thing that's stopping people hopefully. And it was much worse before. It used to be like this type of stuff. So I feel like, you know, an improvement is an improvement and we will take our time with things if we have to. So for now, I'm just going to get these done. This isn't even the full order. I didn't have enough dittos on hand for them. So I will be making more. I wanted to finish these. Hopefully I will have some time to submit a new order for some more packaging. Yeah, I would also like to experiment with more ditto making, different colors and stuff. So that will be a fun task for me in the future. But for now, we're just gonna use some tape and make a little makeshift packaging for all of the dittos. But here we are. I think that's all of them. I'm just gonna put them in a little packaging now. Cute. Also, I think these two actually go together. All the colors are slightly different. Here are all of the ditto things that I've made. We got a lot of keychains going on, but also all these earrings that actually came out really, really cute. This is some improv packaging. It'll do for now, but I like them. I think they're very cute. I'm happy with how they came out and we pretty much have everything prepared and ready to go for them. Hello everyone. So it is the next day. Packing actually took way longer than I expected it to because I literally worked for the entire day and the entire night packing these two wholesale orders. But today we're gonna drop off the first one, which is for Wind Condition Games up in Kennesaw, Georgia. So if anyone's in the area, definitely check it out. That would be like super helpful and great to me. And it would just be super fun to like see people shop in store. My stuff has been there for a minute, but it wasn't really like super professional looking, but I feel like I really upped my game this time. So I'm really happy about it. But I wanna show you guys everything that I packed because it's a lot. Right now I have some items in a cookie tin, but I actually have more items because they did not all fit. But here are my little cute Cutie keychains. So these are super cute. They are the pink sunfishes. They're different on the back. I need to make a sticker that says that I'm double sided, but I've yet to do that. So that will be in my to do list. But we also have the blue ones, which are super cute. So we have four of each, is what they ordered, I believe. So we have a bunch of little phone grips. We have eight of each. So they all look super great. I'm not going to take all of them out because there's really no need to do that. But here are some of them. These are the little candy bonds. We have have the flower bond and then we have some of the blob fishes as well in the back here these are an old design i am going to discontinue this design after these sell out they are still on my website online as well and everything i sell here is on my website by the time this video comes out i should have restocked everything so if you guys see anything that you like and you're not in georgia at all then you can definitely get stuff there and i will ship it to you five of these sticker sheets super duper cute i think five of each sticker sheet. So we have like five of these guys as well. Five of these and they all look super cute. And we've got the tag on everything. We have some little keychains. I just put them in a little thing like this. So I need to make <laughs> better uh, designs for cute little keychains, but I have a bunch of stickers as you can see so so cute we have so so many and lastly i just have all of my little ditto guys that i made last night but i started running out of the cute little tape that i was using here so i just used some rilakkuma tape i didn't even write anything on it i mean you can see what it is nothing bad will happen if i like don't write what the product is because like it's a little self-explanatory but I think the Ditto earrings actually came out really cute despite me not having the proper packaging for them. It is a bit odd that the top is like blue while everything else is pink, but I think it's okay. So this is something I will have to do next time as well. But as you can see, here's all the packaging for that. I think it looks great. And so I'm very happy with how everything came out. I also did some keychains for them as well. And this packaging is not as great, but I don't usually sell these ditto items online. This is like a special just for them because they're a Pokemon shop and they really love Pokemon things. I will be looking to expand my stuff further to some Pokemon stuff, but I don't personally like illustrating that type of stuff because I'm really scared about copyright. We're gonna drop these off today. I think everything's going to look super, super great in their shop. And I'm really excited to see everything up because it's gonna look so like cohesive and great and literally amazing. This is literally the biggest, biggest entire order I've ever gotten. That's kind of 
really slay. I really wasn't expecting that for one of my first times wholesale. The other store that I'm working with called Level Up, they're just trying my stuff out. So they only got like $200 worth of stuff. This is absolutely insane. And I am just so appreciative because they've been supporting my art for quite a few months now. I wanna say since like the summer, we've been uh, working together and it's been going really well. So again, you guys can check out Wind Condition Games in Kennesaw. This is super fun. So I'm gonna pack everything up in a box and we're gonna get ready to go. There's so many over here, as you can see. Over here, we have all of the sticker packs. There's so many of them. The Ditto earrings actually came out super duper cute. So very happy about that as well. Alrighty, so here is literally everything. It's in this huge box and I am so excited to be able to give this to them. I'm going to load up my car and I'm gonna hang out with my friends today before we go and drop this off because they're already going to the car shop. So I'm gonna go with them and tag along. This is so exciting. We're gonna drop it off later. Um, so yeah. So we're gonna grab some lunch and we got some pokey works, very tasty, very exciting. And we actually eat outside because the weather is starting to get nice outside. And I am so ready for it to be summer. The weather is starting to warm up in Georgia and it is making me so happy and so like excited to be outside. So I am thrilled right now. Time to go deliver them. We made it, we are here. So I'm gonna bring the stuff in now. Goodbye all my babies. I hope you get sold. Once inside wind condition, we just checked over the inventory and everything looked good. And now this is what my current section looks like. It's kind of a mess. I don't even do this packaging anymore. It's honestly such like a throwback seeing it, but we're gonna take back all of the old stuff and we're gonna start fresh. This was the stuff I was doing for consignment and the prices are pretty high up because we weren't doing wholesale, but hopefully it'll be more accessible for people. And the whole rack is empty now. So that's crazy, but a lot of my business cards are still here. I always check on these when I come by. And now for the rest of the night, I'm just going to be doing some work at the card shop So like I said, I'm kind of at these locations every once in a while hanging out So if you guys ever see me feel free to say hi But the next day I went to Barnes & Noble with my boyfriend We were looking at some calico critters. Are these not the cutest ones? I was like thinking about getting them, but I felt like they were too expensive But then he got them for me So now I have new calico friends and this princess set is literally so cute Hello everyone. So it is the next few days I dropped off these stuff for WinCon and Kennesaw and I actually have some other orders to fill for love. Oh my God, I just hit my knee. So I just dropped my stuff off at WinCon in Kennesaw and I actually have a little bit left of the order to fill for Level Up in Duluth. So I'm going to be doing that today, but everything went well at WinCon. I've been dropping stuff off for them. So I wasn't really expecting anything to really change. Um, I'm gonna head back later and see how it looks, but hopefully by then I'll have some footage to insert here of what the current setup looks like but I'm really excited because that's gonna be my biggest store location as of right now And then I'm going to be opening up another one in Duluth, Georgia So I'm gonna be heading to level up later after I finish this order, but I need to start it Also, this is all the stuff that I brought back from WinCon So I used to have my stuff there already But the prices are a lot higher than I would like because we were doing consignment and it wasn't wholesale prices So they'll be more similar to the prices I have in my online store But I'm just gonna get these out of this giant box because this is like a card shop box 
um, and we're gonna put it into like what I normally use. So we're gonna put it in there and then I can clear stuff away, but we gotta clear off this desk for real so I can do stuff. Hello everyone. So today I'm going to be finishing up some stuff for one of my friends to take to a shop. So I'm gonna be doing like a little delivery in a bit, but I have a bunch of dittos. They're all over here. I've been making these out of resin for the past few days and I need to get these made into keychains and earrings. Originally for a wholesale order, I got an order of a couple of these, I think like 15 of each. At the time, I didn't have all of them on hand because I have to make them out of resin. So it takes me like a little bit of time, but I told them that as soon as I get them all finished, I'm going to bring in the extra ones for them. So I'm going to be doing that today. Four of the earrings and three of the keychains. So for the earrings, I've made these little ditto ones recently that are like different colors because I want to try this. So I definitely wanted to get them some of these. I also have these pinks, like a different shade of pink, which is really, really pretty. I said, I think I said, how many did I say? So four of the earrings, so I'm just gonna go ahead and set these out or like that. These pink ones look very nice. So like those ones. And we'll just do a pair of purple ones because those are always nice. I'm debating on whether just making an extra pair for them just because they ordered so many from me, but also maybe I make these into keychains. So I guess we'll keep these for later, but I'm just going to make these guys into little items really quick. I actually have this ditto tray that I made a little while back and it has some extra little things in there. So I'm gonna just use these. But I'm just gonna bring out my items that I usually use. This thing, get this guy. My trusty pliers that I continually use all the time. Dug these guys up. I actually haven't used these in a minute, but here we are, just a bunch of items. We've got quite an array going on. Here's everything that we are about to use to make some little things. There they are, they look pretty cute. I think the colors look really good. And I think when the colors look good, it just makes everything else so much easier. And I wanted to try something a little bit different with some of the earrings where I wanted to add a little star to them. I'm in the mood to do something a little extra. So I think I'm gonna use these clear stars for all of them. I know I have a lot of these like leftover wires down here. So we're just gonna make some of these. I'm gonna be watching some more TV while putting together these ditto earrings. And these ones that I'm doing are a little bit different because they have the stars. I only make these for win condition games. I don't actually sell these online, although I'm thinking about starting to. It's just that lately I haven't had a lot of time to put new things up, but I'm trying to do something else with the backings because as you guys know, I didn't have any that said earrings. So these are the littler ones that say cutie phone grips, but I decided to try to use this memo paper, but I actually ended up not really liking how this turned out so i just scrapped the idea but i did try to make one uh, i did write ditto earrings on it and i wrote by tiffany wang but i didn't like how it looked so we're just gonna go back to the old method but this time i actually became a little bit more advanced so normally i would just put the washi tape on it directly like this but then i realized that there was actually a better way to do it and that i'm going to take some label paper which is basically just this like white adhesive sheet that i have and i'm gonna cut it up into little strips and i'm going to use it underneath the washi tape so that you can't even see the words cute phone grips under it because that was kind of bothering me and I feel like it would look a lot more like clean and cohesive if it didn't say that underneath so I'm going to do that and then I'm gonna put the washi tape on top and this looked a lot better in my opinion I didn't end up writing a label over it so I didn't label that these were earrings but I feel like it's self-explanatory enough that like people know that these are earrings so I thought that these looked a lot better than what I was doing last time and so I don't want to do this for like a long long time but for a while I think this is what I'm planning to do and I'm just gonna me doing this this time for the earrings but overall i want to submit my designs and get them printed for earring backings as well so i still haven't gotten around to designing and getting printed the backings for the ditto items that i have i actually only make these for this one specific store so i just wanted to get some like miscellaneous product backings but right now i still don't have those so I used these little phone grip backings that I still have and I just put some washi tape over the top so that they don't say phone grips anymore, but it was a little bit sheer. So I actually ended up using a little bit of this uh, label paper and I just put a white backing on all of them. So now you can't see what it says on the top. I used to write ditto earrings on the ones I used to do, but I feel like it's fine if it's not saying anything. It's really not that big of a deal, but I'm going to package these guys up, the keychains and the earrings. 
don't want to like waste too much of these backings. Pretty cute. I think it could go a little bit lower, but I didn't have it hanging all the way vertically because it's just a little bit too long. So this one looks like this, which I think looks a little bit better, but I think we're gonna go with this one. Although at this point, there's only one more to package. But here we have this one. So these three are all done. And now we're just gonna do the earrings. We're gonna put these in their little plastic sleeves and then these are ready to go. This is my second run to win finishing games because I didn't have everything finished the first time around. But now that these are all done, I think they look so great. I'm putting the little hang tags on them as well. And I think they're really cute this way. So I'm really happy with how they turned out. And the colors of the dittos I used this time were literally so pretty that I'm very happy because I wanted to elevate my dittos for a while, but I just didn't have the chance to. But here's what they look like now. And so after finishing all these orders, I went out for ice cream, a little celebratory ice cream and I got some new plushies my boyfriend got me this little Rilakkuma as well as these two little guys as a little celebration for finishing all of my orders so yeah here's our little ice cream date but I am all done officially with my first two wholesale orders and so and so I delivered everything my wholesale journey has been going really really well so far so I just have a little bit left to do but yeah i am now currently in two locations i'm in level up in duluth georgia and i'm in wind condition games in kennesaw i'm in a lot of card shops because that's where me and my friends hang out a lot so if you guys ever see me there feel free to say hello but i now have to do a bunch of flower orders so i will see you guys in the next video where i'm going to be actually finishing up my last set of fluffy flowers and shipping these out so thank you guys so much for watching hanging out with me and for being on my entire wholesale artist journey with me so far here's to many more fun adventures that we're gonna have but yeah this has been super great and i will see you guys in the next video let me know if you have any questions about wholesale in the comments down below as well i am not a professional i just started doing this but i also have a very approachable understanding of wholesale i think so if you guys don't know where to start definitely feel free to message me i would love to chat about it and if anyone has more experience in wholesale than i do please give me any tips and tricks that you guys might have in the comments that would also be super helpful to me i feel like it's so niche sometimes that i don't even know where to look for information so anything helps but thank you guys so much for watching for hanging out i will see you guys in the next video say hi to take a nap bye everyone Mwah!